It wouldn't actually be that bad. Okay, it would be bad, but it would be like nuke bad, not meteor that killed the dinosaurs bad, and I can prove it. First, we have to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Nothing with mass can move the speed of light. But putting that aside, let's just, for the sake of argument, assume that it's going 99.9 .9 and so on percent of the speed of light with 34 nines. Just for scale, the kinetic energy of a needle going that fast is about as much as it would take to completely destroy the Earth. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter how much energy the needle has. If we want to figure out how much damage the needle does to the Earth, it's not important how much energy the needle has, but how much energy it transfers to the Earth. A funny quirk of particle physics implies that above a certain energy threshold, and we are way above that threshold here, the amount of energy a particle loses to its environment per centimeter traveled is fixed. This phenomenon is called the lindhard sorensen effect. Now, I don't have the numbers for the energy loss function for steel passing through rock and iron, but I do have it for uranium passing through aluminum. And it won't actually matter all that much because we're working in orders of magnitude here, so that's a fine assumption. A single uranium atom at ultra-relativistic speeds will lose around 4.75 mega electron volts of energy per centimeter traveled through aluminum. But for a uranium needle with a mass of 0.585 grams, there are around a billion trillion uranium atoms. Doing the dimensional analysis, we find that our ultra-relativistic needle will lose around 100 billion joules of energy per meter traveled. For reference, that's the energy equivalent of 25 tons of TNT exploding. Now, the Earth is around 13 million meters across, and so we end up finding that, regardless of how close to the speed of light the needle is, it will dump at most the energy equivalent of 350 million tons of TNT. For the record, that's around seven Tsar Bombas, the largest nuclear warheads ever detonated, and while that's a lot of energy, most of it will be lost dozens to hundreds of miles beneath the crust. In fact, if we just consider how much energy is dumped in the crust with a thickness of around 20 kilometers, that would be the equivalent of a nuclear explosion that is 1% as powerful as the Star Bomba, once going in and once on the opposite side of the world. In fact, it would be about as powerful a blast as the Ivy King bomb. If it hit New York, as in this video, the danger zone would be something like 20 miles across. So what's the takeaway here? Well, you definitely wouldn't want to be where the needle hit or where it came out, because you wouldn't have a good time. But if you were in Philly, you'd probably be fine. For the record, the other side of the world is in the ocean off the western coast of Australia, so they probably wouldn't even notice.